Hey, it's Jay with Footsteps Pass Channel. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, so, I just did a video on um, how to make old lumber look like new lumber. And I had some questions about uh, what's the difference between quarter sawing and flat sawing wood because that boards that I happen to be working with are quarter sawing. So, here I'll show you the difference right here. Okay, I got my wood shop chalkboard here. Okay, so we have a log, let's say a round log like this and traditionally in wide scale commercial saw mill we do what's called flat saw. So they'll just take a saw, run it over and over and over and over again like this at whatever dimensions you want to create a flat sawn board. So the inside of your log, I probably should have showed you this first, as we know is made up of rings. Okay, So then they're cutting like this. Some of the wood's okay some of it's not. So this is produced really, really fast and produces a, lot, a little less scrap, but it's produced really fast. This is why people don't do this. And it, this, this cut has a tendency to uh, cup and bow and warp cutting this way, opposed to a quarter sawn log. So we have the log here. And then they will cut it into quarters, like so. And then remember we have our rings that go around here like this. The whole object is to get those as best we can. So these will cut like this. And then maybe they'll cut this one the same way to get the most they can. The object is to get a board, if you're looking at your board like this, is to get your grain straight up and down on the edge of the board opposed to flat sawn so we got a 2 by 4 here opposed to flat sawn they have these cups like this and you can see how if you're grain on the edge of the board so this is the edge of the board so we cut the board with the edge of the board on these two here so if they have this like this your board has the tendency to want a cup you see with the, all the grain pushing it this way you're going to wind up with a cup board so your board's going to look like that after it dries out. If you have um, a straighter board like this, now a quarter song could be like this, and then over here they start getting a little cupped, like that. And then if they're all completely straight, it's called rift song, which is just produces a huge amount of scrap and waste out of your log. So I don't suggest doing that, and it has to be done mostly by hand. But it'd be a lot of waste. We don't want all that waste. So this is ideally what you're looking for. Now you can get some quarter song out of a flat, flat sawn piece. Say you buy a 2 by 12 like this and then this is all cupped like this and then the log came down Then your grain might look something like this. This right here is flat sawn, throw in the trash and then you'd be left over with two pieces of quarter sawn out of a cheap 2 by 12 or something like that. You have a really good yellow pine or something like that, that would be a quarter song. So that, that, if you look at it and it looks like this, it's going to cup. It's flat song. The idea is to get it to look like this. So I'll show it to you here on a piece of real wood. It makes a big difference in your grain patterns as well. I have a piece of white oak that we milled down on in my last video. I've shown you how to make uh, old wood look like good wood, new wood. And we have a piece of newer uh, red, uh, red oak that I purchased off a of sawmill here locally. So this is the piece I just milled. This is the, the white oak. You can see how it's nice and straight grain. This is quarter sawn. And see how this is a little more crazy. This one's a flat sawn piece. Now I personally like the grain much better on this than I do in quarter. But I know that quarter, quarter sawn wood's not going to bow. So this will be, create a better piece of furniture. For looks, I like this better personally. Or you could do a piece of plywood look about the same as that. So let's take a look at the edge. Flat sawn, you see how these ridges come up and they curve and they come down over here. So this is towards the center of the tree. The tree is round like this. So this board is already starting to bow. Oak's not as bad as some, but you can see it'll probably bow right in here. Give this thing some time. Opposed to my quarter sawn board, which this board's 200, been milled for 200 years. And you can see 
this is more straight up and down. Now we go off to the curve here as I explained. This is probably towards the center of the tree. And then these are the rings of the tree, like this. So this board, I, I promise you, is about 200 years old. It's the age of the barn, built in like 1802, I think they said. It may have been milled before then. And it's still straight. Assuming it hadn't seen a abusive life. But that's a nice quarter sawn board right there. So I'm going to make a piece of furniture out of this one. And something maybe not as important out of this one. So this will hold better than this one since this one will bow. I would not make a tabletop out of flat sawn wood. You can, but you might have a customer come and complain at you. So that's the difference. If you like what you saw today, hit that little red button down at the bottom to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Again, this one's your uh, quarter song, better than the flat song. Hopefully now you understand the difference between flat song and quarter song. Alright, thanks. Have a great day.